Hey folks, welcome to 406 Regen. Today is training day for me and the sheep here again. I'm trying to get them trained up to polywire. I don't know if this single will work. I'll probably have to go up to more. Um, I might have to add more of a ground. This is just a quick setup, but I'm only in 6.1 here. And I probably need to add another ground to get it good, but we'll see if the 6.1 will kind of hold them in for the day or not. I don't know. Because I don't, I mean, let me before I check it. I don't have the net on. It shouldn't be on anyway. Hmm. Picked up a signal or something. But. Alright, so I just got it running past right here on the plastic. And it's can't make up its mind. What the heck? Where are we going? <sighs> Stupid thing. Guess I probably needed better ground, another ground in there. Well, of course I don't. I don't have the ground from here into the ground either, so I'm wearing boots. That could be why too. But I'm trying to see if that'll hold them in. This is just a quick. Uh, Hopefully, you know, i am try to get them trained to polywire so I can start doing uh, day rotations with the wire and and pinning them at night in the poly, in the netting. It's kind of what I'd be shooting for, but we'll see. As you can see, I, I, I didn't graze right here. There really wasn't, it wasn't worth the effort to put the net from there to the fence line. You know, they'd have been in there, they'd have been done eating it by the time I got the net up. So, I just went ahead and I pushed them down the hill here. Um, doing my thing. I gave the puppies a spot to nap for a little while. They're tied up over here. They're, it looks like they're really... They're snoozing away. So, so yeah, I, I asked on a Regen Facebook group what people were using for sheep shade. And I had a guy ask, why, why do the sheep need shade? They shouldn't need shade. Um, there's a lot of reasons why we'd want to provide the shade for the animals. One, it'll help their, it'll help them keep their condition up, right? And uh, two, it gives me a steering wheel, if you will, to where if I want, well, say I had shade right here on this hillside. This hillside doesn't grow nothing. Say that's where the shade was at, and I had, and this was in high tensile area that could graze down here. In the afternoon, they'd be on top of the hill under the shade putting their nutrients on top of the hill so then when it rains it snows moisture the nutrients can flow down it gives me a steering wheel where I want them to put the majority of their nutrients just like the netting or rotational grazing it that's a steering wheel over a little bit bigger area shade is a steering wheel for you know those fine spots that you just really want to put them on and as you can tell all the girls are hot and thirsty this will be this is their second tank already today and it's barely not even one o'clock so another reason I want shade like I said keep their condition up if their conditions up they'll provide better for you I mean it's our job as ranchers graziers stewards of the land it's our job to provide all their needs for them uh, you know, the same argument could be, well, humans, we don't need AC, air conditioning. 
you know, in the old, in the 30s and 40s, you had open station cabs in the construction equipment. You know, the AC people have evolved to help production up, to keep production up, and to keep you more comfortable so you keep your production up. It's the same thing with animals. And I hadn't refilled my tank yet, that's why we're already out, but. So, I was kind of just hanging around here, seeing what they're gonna do on this one single strand net uh, wire. Last year, I was having problems because I couldn't figure it out. I mean, last year I was spending time, I was putting, I was doing six strands and I'd come up later in the afternoon or something and they'd still be through it. So I don't know if that was just one bad one or, or what. I have my suspicions on which one it is, but we'll see how this year goes. And right now after, like I said, this netting, it's not on. I'm not worried about, they'll hear the clicking of that box and they'll sense it. Even though the netting's off, they're not going to try the netting. Especially now that I just moved them, they're on the good grass. But I do want them to come over and try the wire to get over here. And hopefully they get zapped enough to learn, hey, okay, this means business. Just like that netting, let's stay away from it. Um, because, I mean, this is the end goal, folks, is to get them on single strand wire. And not the netting all the time. The netting, what I really like to be able to do with the netting is put it up in a spot say for three days right because there's three nets here so i have an opening i got a split in the fence there i got a split in the fence there and i got one here so if i have the netting say central in a spot for three days i could put the poly out and out of from the split you know as big as i want and then run them back in the netting at night close them up make sure the coyotes can't get them the puppies can't get hurt from coyotes yet and, and doing it that way so that's kind of the end goal for me on the summer at the, I mean for now until I get my high tensile fence up out back and can start doing this out there but I'd still I'm still probably gonna keep them in this netting like I say unless I get some bigger dogs or something like that to where I don't have to worry about these two munchkins getting eaten up by coyotes out back where I can't hear them, I can't run out there and protect them if they get in a fight. So the netting is gonna be crucial at the moment to get them safe. You know, again, goes back to being a steward of the land, keeping it, keeping it safe. Is this you gonna get it? She's got her nose right under it. Yeah, she's going right on the hide, though. Maybe I need to lower that down. Looks like I need to lower it down. Hey. Apparently, I need to lower that. Because that will not work. Alright. Now, now it's my question. Is if I get it too low, then the cow will just not even see the dang thing. But... That won't work there either. She's just gonna get up on her wool and not get hit by it. So, I lowered the wire down. She did go through it, but it did pop her on the way through and she didn't want to come back across it. So, we'll see. Um, and some of these, some of these, about half of this flock hasn't been introduced to the single poly. When I tried doing my poly last year, I only had about half the numbers. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Until then, I'm gonna sit down right down here in the shade because just like the dogs, it's hot out there. For us up here in Montana, after it's been, you know, not that long ago, it was 15, 20 below. So the sun definitely has got some heat to it. So. But yeah, so this is kind of what I'm doing here at the moment. I'm just kind of sitting around. I'm wanting them to get bit, you know. In one hand, I don't want them to get... I don't I don't like seeing them get hit, but... On the other hand, that's what's going to protect them. You know, little pain. If they learn, they'll uh, not keep pushing it, so... We'll see. Well, folks. It's evening time. The sheep are where they're supposed to be. 
GW, however, was not in a, my wires down. So I'm thinking bonehead went through the wire. Now he's acting all scared of it. Golly. That's fun. <clears throat> Turn off the fence because they done knocked it down to where it was on the fence. That'll keep your heart going. So, yep, yeah, bonehead knocked it down, I'm thinking, because everybody else is exactly where they're supposed to be. So, not a total failure for the day, but hey. And this here idea from the Burkle Farm, thank you, Peter, for making your video on that, because it works quite handily. I'm doing this operation. Take my fence apart so I can get that reel through it. And go load up on water from the critters. Get the puppies their milk because they did not get none today. Alrighty, folks. They uh, weren't quite sure what to do right there. But it's good. That's why it's training day. They'll get used to it. Now they got some fresh grass here for the evening. I gotta go fill up their water for the final time today. So, yeah, now everybody's down here happy. I gotta go ahead and finish putting in my step-ins around the perimeter of this fence. Will you let me touch you yet? Not quite yet, ready for that? Okay, you'll get there. Oh, that's what the puppies are barking at. I'm not completely sure why they do that. They'll start barking at something, then they'll like start chewing each other out. Looks like we got some deer moving over here. Good puppies. Crossed. So they're doing their job. Yeah, you guys are going. That's your job. Yeah. 
So, all right, folks, I think that'll do it for this evening. Y'all have a good one.